So today I'm taking over Michelle's tutorial channel. Today it's all about Eli. If those of you who don't know me, I'm Michelle's twin. The prettier we one. We look so alike, mm. oh my gosh. I think the only thing that's different is that I might be brown. You've been out in the sun she, one Yeah, uh, She shaves the beard every morning. I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> First of all, one of my patrons who has the same name as me, Michelle, she actually won my monthly contest where she gets a song tutorial of her choice and she chose Chicken Fried by the Zac Brown Band. You're probably wondering who this guy standing next to me is. Um, Eli, Michelle's prettier twin. Uh, we've been friends for several years now. Yeah. yeah, we actually found out about each other through my aunt. She's like, oh, you both play guitar and that's kind of how it happened, so. Yeah, it's been, it's worked out great. They feed me, so you can't say no to friendships He like helps that. us move stuff. True, yeah. <laughs> I think I got the sucky end of the deal here. Now that I think about it, I've helped you move. Oh my I've helped you move stuff here. All right, so this song is actually really easy to play, by the way. We only have, what, three chords in here? Yep. So we have a G major. C major and we have a D major and Lipo is gonna teach you some amazing like what what would you call it some hybrid picking hybrid picking why do you call yeah. it hybrid picking because you're picking but you're kind of getting some strumming in there at the same time Ooh, I like that we're learning something new here on this channel it's yeah. awesome very cool so Lipo is gonna break that part down for you in a little bit and then we're also going to go through some strumming and we're going to combine everything together. And it's going to be awesome. Yes. Now keep in mind, we are going to play it a little bit different mm -hmm. than the Zach and Brown band wrote it, but it'll still sound just as awesome when you play it at home. Yes. We're going to go ahead and start strumming. We're just going to start with easy single down strums on that G major, but then it's going to start picking up and we're going to go through a pattern that sounds like this. Down, down, up, down, 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 up. So we'll go a little bit uh, slower because I know like we like to go really fast. So bringing it down super slow. It's down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So it's going to be for each chord. So we'll play it with a G major. We'll go a little bit faster. So it's down, down, up, up down, down, down. All right. So for our next drumming pattern, we're going to add a little bit of palm muting in there and it's going to sound like this. really simple so all you do is one up strum and then you just hit hit with the side of your palm and then you just do a down strum but you want to make it flow so it sounds like this it's like that yeah hey I just learned that it's awesome I taught him something <laughs> all right everyone so now we're gonna learn the picking part so we're gonna start with the G major chord as a power chord and we're going to start by picking the fourth and third string and we're going to do it twice and then your picking follows that so I'm going to do it slow so you can watch my hand we're just going to go up and down from these skipping every other one and then coming back up on it and that'll be the first part because then we're going to go to D okay so we're going to transition this way When we get to D, we're not going to play the full D, we're going to hammer on the bottom finger and we're going to pluck with the pick the fourth string, but with our fingers, we're going to pluck the bottom two strings to add that effect onto it. So we're going to go... And now you're hammering on and you're adding, and then you're going back, then open, and you're going to C. Now the rundown is going to come through G and you're going to do the G chord, the root note right up top and that'll be how you end it, back to D. So you're essentially playing the G chord but you're just doing notes and all together I'm a chicken fried, a cold beer on a Friday night, a pair of jeans that fit just right, and the radio. Oh, 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 oh. I'm raised up the shade of a tree. 
Georgia pine and that's home you know a sweet tea pecan pie homemade wine where the peaches grow in my house it's not much to talk about but it's filled with love that's grown in southern ground and a little bit of chicken fried cold beer on a Friday night a pair of jeans that fit just right and the radio Okay, so we're gonna go through the bridge. Now the bridge is the exact same way the verses are played. So you you can do an easy way and just strum down. I thank God for my life and for the stars and stripes. May freedom forever fly. Let it ring. Now what I like to do after that is I do a little bit of the picking, similar to the the intro that I showed you, the hybrid picking, except we're not doing the G major, we're not introducing the whole song. We already know what's going on. We're at the cool part, so we're just gonna pick a little bit. Because then you fall right back into, like a little chicken fry, and it jumps right, there's a B! Whoo! We're good. That was a close one. It was like right through your face. So let's go through that strumming. The picking pattern. You can pretty much do whatever you want because I change it up every single time I play. It all depends on how fast we're playing the song. And we're play I play it a lot faster than we're showing it to you. So if we're going, thank God for my life. And I'm just going down from the, from the six. Now I like to jump strings. I don't like to arpeggio all the time because that sounds too coordinated to me and it's not fun does it's not that style of music so I like to hop around and kind of give it a little bit of oomph to it so it and it's the same thing without the we did at the intro so if you'd like to do it that way you can or you could just strum down on the chords for that part of the verse to give yourself a little break from all that hand movement but either way i hope you guys enjoy this video if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because that'd be awesome and as always feel free to leave your song request down below in the comments so that way i can figure out what the heck i'm going to teach you guys next but that's pretty much it thank you so much eli for no being problem. on my channel and for no helping problem. teach chicken fried because it was fun thank you guys yeah. for watching michelle's mm -hmm. great and michelle thank you for requesting the song and yes, I'll Michelle. Be... I almost thought you were talking to me, but no. I was like, no, her name is Michelle. No, Michelle, I, I feel like you're a lot cooler than this Michelle. Yeah, so, probably. Besides being Michelle's prettier twin and friend, um, I run a kids' charity with music called My Favorite Superhero. I write and sell kids' songs online, and when you download them, I donate all the money to pediatric programs. You guys can check them out at myfavoritesuperhero.com. And I also have an album coming out. Uh, with uh, all original music. You guys can go to my channel and check out my new music video called My Judy. It's and so good. Yeah, it's it's just awesome. like, well, it will melt your heart. It's really good. Yeah. And pretty soon it'll be available online so you guys can purchase it straight through, uh, through iTunes or Google Play. All of his links are going to be down below in the description box. Definitely go check out Eli's stuff. He is an amazing songwriter and everything that he's doing to help these kids is just wonderful. Thank so, you. I appreciate it. Thank you. We could use all the help we can get. So. Spread the word, like us on Facebook, go to our website, tell people about us. Any little bit helps. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys in my next video. Till next time. <laughs> I was a kid. Maybe there's like Cabbage Patch Kids back there. <laughs>